Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're going to be having a go at another shell challenge and this one is actually Vic Sala's shell challenge. Now I think the deadline to submit for this challenge has passed already so I'm a little bit late with getting the video out. But the actual build that I did, so this build has been up on the gallery for the past... I don't know, maybe like a week or so. So if you guys do want to download this build, it is up on the gallery. You can find it by searching for hashtag ChrissyYT or just by searching my, hash my gallery ID, which is ChrissyYT. Now, I will have a direct download link to the online gallery website down below for you guys as soon as Origin is back online. I don't know what's been going on with Origin and with like EA in general lately, like the past... Basically, this whole day so far, they've been like on and off, you know, on and offline so many times. They've been like, th then the like connection is back and then it's gone again and then it's back and then it's gone again. So, yeah, it's been a little bit of a <laughs> like all over the place. So, as soon as Origin is back online, I will have the gallery link down below for you guys as well. Since this is completely CC free. I didn't use any custom content in it. I didn't restrict my pack usage though, so I probably used quite a few packs. But yeah, it's completely CC free, so there's that at least. And yeah, this is, like I said, Vixella Shell Challenge. So if you guys don't know what Shell Challenges are, basically people, people have been doing a lot of these in the community recently where they create the shell of a house. So the exterior shape of it. They create that and sometimes they'll put a wall or two on the interior or something, but this one didn't have that, luckily. But yeah, basically, so shell challenges are that you're not allowed to change any of the existing walls. So I can raise and lower this build as much as I want, you know, the foundation height. I can take the whole build and put it in a basement. I can change the wall height if I want to. But I'm not allowed to change the exterior shape of the build. So I'm not allowed to make it bigger or smaller or drag any of the walls or anything like that. And like I said, this build didn't have any interior walls. But sometimes people will also put, you know, one or two squares of interior wall that you have to work around. You have to incorporate that into your layout. So... With shell challenges, you basically just can't change the exterior shape, but you need to add windows and doors and roofing and do a layout and all of that stuff. And these are really, really fun to do because a lot of the times, the ones that I've done personally, they've, all, they've always been shapes that I wouldn't necessarily have done myself if I had just bought the whole thing from scratch. And that usually makes it a little bit of a challenge, but also a lot of fun because you can... You kind of have to think out of outside of the box a little bit and do some different things and everything like that. Now, this build, I did just turn it into a <laughs> suburban house because apparently those are my favorite types of homes to build and the ones that I just do the most of, apparently. So yeah, this one is just another suburban house. But I did experiment a little bit with the exterior of this build. I used a little bit of a different color scheme. I don't normally go for brown exteriors, but I really like the way this one turned out. This is probably one of my favorite suburban houses that I've ever done, actually, which is, considering how many I've done, that's kind of saying a lot. But yeah, the interior is fairly straightforward, fairly suburban and like normal-ish for my channel. But I did do a little a like little split level living room. So the living room is a little bit lower down. So that's really fun. I haven't done something like that in ages. But yeah, this is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom family home. And there's another like room upstairs that I turned into a laundry room. That you could easily turn into another full bathroom if you needed another one. But as it is, there's two full bathrooms upstairs. And then downstairs, there's a half bathroom. And like I said, three bedrooms. So I built it for either one or two parents, a child and a toddler. And then downstairs, there's obviously the living room. The kitchen and dining room is kind of open. And then as you walk into the build, like into the front of the build, you'll see there's this big square, like almost open, like open plan square living room. Not living room, but extra room type thing. 
and you could section that off and turn it into maybe another bedroom if you could find a way for the hallway to work but the way I have it set up is I have that extra kind of area set up as a little study area so there's a desk some bookshelves a couch and I think I also added the like kids boredom block table so the blocks table for the kids like the Legos I guess basically I added that table and I think I added an easel as well and then upstairs on one of the balconies I have a on the parents balcony they have their own private balcony on the parents balcony there's a like yoga mat some lounge chairs and then on the more like public balcony at the front of the house there's a chess table so there's a bunch of skill building items in this build for you guys and I also made it cat friendly so I don't I don't know if I included this like in the video of me going back in and adding a litter box for the cat once I decided that I wanted it to be cat friendly but I might have but yeah there's a litter box in one of the bathrooms I just can't remember which one <laughs> and then there's a cat tree in the living room I add a like pet food bowl I think in the kitchen I know I added a pet food bowl I just like I said can't remember where I did this because I bought this a few weeks ago by now I'm doing this voiceover on like a Tuesday night I don't even know what the date is by the way so <laughs> yeah there's that I think it's like the 14th maybe I don't know I think it's the 14th today but yeah I'm doing this build this voiceover now but I bu actually bought this more than a week ago I think so yeah that's why I kind of can't remember exactly what I did and when I did it but yeah it's on a 30 by 20 lot the build and it came in just under 150,000 simoleons so it's not cheap it's not a budget build it's not a restricted packs build it's just you know more of the like regular type things that you would tend to see on my channel very expensive homes that are probably you're probably not going to be able to afford them if you don't use cheats or if you're not in like the second generation at least of a generation's gameplay type thing but yeah i mean that's why we have mother load and it's just it's just a fact, I guess. I don't know. I don't know many people that actually play without cheats, by the way. So, there's that. But, yeah. So, I hope you guys like how this build turned out anyway. I spent forever trying to figure out this kitchen. And I don't know why it took me this long. I wanted it to have an island. And I was really dead set on it having an island. But then... I don't, I don't know, I just couldn't figure out a way to make the island fit properly, so I just ended up with this, like, four tile, like, center island instead. So, yeah, that's a little bit better, and then we have this dining room that I add, yeah, a little toddler high chair to, and then we have the living room and the, like, I guess study, I guess you would call it study office space. Now, I did cut out stuff like... The bathrooms but I always cut out the bathrooms in my builds because they take me either they take me forever to try and find something that I'm happy with or they take me no time at all because they all look exactly the same and yeah in this case they all basically look exactly the same they all have the same color scheme they all have the same like plumbing items in them so they're really not that interesting but I do include screenshots of all of them at the end for you guys. So if you really want to see the bathrooms, you can see them at the end in the screenshots. Or you can download the build and see them that way. Although I don't know why anyone would want to see bathrooms. They're really not that interesting. <laughs> because it's just a regular suburban home. So the bathrooms aren't all that big. They're either like 2x3 or maybe like 3x3 three three tiles and that's usually the size that my bathrooms tend to be. Or they're like 4x3. Those are the three sizes that I always go for for my bathrooms. And usually they're all laid out exactly the same way as well. So yeah, it's not like I'm doing a fancy bathroom for like a big mansion or something that's interesting. But yeah, oh yeah, I didn't add the litter box in the bathroom. I added the, the litter box in the laundry room. I forgot about that. But yeah, there is a lit litter box, everything you need for a cat. So yeah, you could also have a dog in here if you wanted to just maybe delete the cat tree and delete the litter box. Maybe put a like toy box some somewhere around the build for a dog. If you wanted to do that, you could totally do that. 
but yeah so the bedrooms aren't really all that personalized either i try to put this whole color scheme of kind of like yellows and blues i don't know why i was stuck on yellow and blue and a little bit of orange i don't know why but i ended up putting this whole color scheme of yellow blue orange more neutral tones and colors and stuff throughout the whole build so the kids bedrooms are a little bit more colorful especially the toddler's room the toddler's room is probably the most colorful like room in the house but that always ends up happening for some reason but yeah and then the kids bedroom is a little bit more neutral i used i think some green if i remember correctly i think i went for the parenthood bed that has these this like greenish bedding to it so yeah i think that the kids bedroom is either green or yellow either one of those colors or like a mixture of the two and then the parents bedroom is just totally with the color scheme of the rest of the house so very neutral very like i don't want to say bland but just neutral and very easy it, it would be very easy for you guys to go in and add some more personality to it if you wanted to so if you have sims that you know love like pink for example it would be very easy to go in and just change up some of the swatches on some of the items especially in the bedrooms so yeah that's something that i did try and keep in mind when i did this and usually whenever i build whenever i do like master bedrooms the master bedrooms always tend to be in the same color scheme as the rest of the build so because i always think that you know what if this is the parents house if they own the house then they would have gone through and decorated the house to their own personal taste whereas the kids bedrooms would be more personalized to whatever the kids like for example so yeah i hope that makes sense but yeah we're working on the little study right now and yeah i just added a little computer some bookcases an easel a little like corner sofa and i think that's everything that i end up adding in the little study space i also cut out the like front like hallway area and the upstairs hallway because they're not like, all that interesting there's nothing in them apart from some end tables some rugs some plants and i think i added another bookcase upstairs so apparently whoever lives here loves reading so yeah i always do that though i always end up using a ton of bookcases in my bolts or at the very least a ton of book clutter so yeah but yeah we've moved on to the parents bedroom and like i said their bedroom definitely fits in with the rest of the color scheme of the house and when i started this build i wanted to use brown the only thing that i knew is that i wanted to use brown throughout a lot of the build now downstairs that kind of got lost a little bit i t kind of went more for like lighter colors and lighter yellows and stuff like that but the parents bedroom is very very brown <laughs> so yeah i don't know why i wanted to use brown probably because i don't normally build with it especially not on the interior so yeah but i mean i really like the way it turned out and the parents like i said have their own private balcony where i end up adding in some lounge chairs and a little yoga mat so whoever is into yoga can do some yoga back of back on the like patio area and then the backyard is fairly simple i don't think i added a pool to it i can't remember <laughs> but i don't think i did so they don't have a pool no they don't have a pool but they do have a little sandbox area so i end up adding i think a monkey bars a like a really big dollhouse and then a little toddler slide as well along with some toys and stuff so there's a toy box for the kid and the toddler and then we obviously have the more like regular stuff i believe i also ended up adding in a bar back at on, on the in the backyard so i end up adding a bar a like really big grill another like table for some seating outside and then i also add some planters and some like outdoorsy couches and stuff like that so yeah fairly generic backyard but everything that your sims could need unless you want something really big like the rocket ship or something but i don't know about you guys but i never build with the rocket ship or like the really big microscope or anything because a they're just way too big and b i never use them i never have a reason to use them in my gameplay unless i'm doing a very specific challenge where my sim is like an astronaut or something which isn't all that common so yeah i just that's why i never build with them 
and also because I, I never know how to even try and use them because they are so big you kind of have to build the whole house around those items you can't just build the house and then decide to add them in somewhere unless you add them on like the back porch or something which is something that I don't normally try and do so yeah but yeah we've on moved on to the kids bedroom we've already done the toddler's bedroom and yeah apparently I did go for more green in the ki kids room instead of yellow so there's that I like I said completely forgot about that but yeah, like I said, if you guys want to download this build, it is up on the gallery if you want to go ahead and download that. And I will have the gallery link down below as soon as Origin is back online. Hopefully that should be fairly quickly because it's really annoying when that happens. Especially when I want to go on the gallery and download stuff for other things that I'm working on and other collabs that I'm working on. So yeah, this isn't a collab. Obviously, this is just a shell challenge that I decided to do. But I am working on like, I think at the moment I'm working on like three collabs that should be coming up, you know, around the end of April, beginning May. So yeah, look out for that. I'm really excited about those. They're all like really big group collabs as well. So they're a lot of fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy how this build turned out. We're almost done with it. So I should probably just start wrapping up everything here. But yeah, like I said, it is up on the gallery. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give the video a like. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, I have been also, I wanted to mention, totally off topic and random, but I wanted to mention that I'm also working on another Sims 2 build that I want to share, that I can't wait to share with you guys because apparently... This is going to be really weird sounding and a lot of you guys probably won't care about this if you don't do YouTube yourself. But apparently my Sims 2 videos have been doing better than my Sims 4 videos which is really weird to me because I started my channel with the Sims 4 and it's the like most popular thing on my channel is the Sims 4 and all of my Sims 4 stuff. It's just what I do most of. And for some reason, the past, like, month, yeah, maybe around a month or so, all of my Sims 2 videos have just been getting a bunch more views. And apparently, whenever I post a Sims 2 build, it just does better than a Sims 4 build, which is really weird to me. Although, I don't mind it. I'm really happy about that because I love the Sims 2 and I love posting builds from the Sims 2 and, you know, recording it and everything. But it was just something fun and weird that I thought I would mention and just say thank you to whoever is, like, really watching my Sims 2 content and to all of you guys that enjoy my Sims 2 stuff. Thank you guys so much for that. But, yeah, we're almost done with this build, so I'm just going to wrap it up. I hope you guys are all having a great day and i will talk to you on my very next video bye guys